Lunchables. These things have been around for years as a quick and easy lunch or snack, and they're pretty popular with kids. But a new consumer investigation may have parents thinking twice. 12 Just Size Marilyn Moritz explains tests turned up high levels of sodium, but also lead. In the rush to get out the door, Lunchables, prepackaged lunch kits, are convenient, and many kids love them. But listen to this. Lunchables and similar kinds of lunch kits are simply not healthy for kids. We even have them in the office lunchroom. This one's turkey and cheese. Just what's inside? Let's pop it open. Here we have cheddar cheese, processed turkey, and a row of crackers. Consumer Reports took a closer look testing 12 store-bought lunch and snack kits and finding concerning levels of lead, cadmium, or both in all of them. Even in small amounts, the effects of these heavy metals are cumulative and they can contribute to developmental problems in children. Kraft Heinz, the parent company of Lunchables, Oscar Mayer, and P3, says all their foods meet strict safety standards and lead and cadmium occur naturally in the environment and may be present in low levels. Smithfield Foods, which makes Armour Lunchmakers, says it adheres to strict programs and policies that promote food safety and quality. Target, which makes Good and Gather, did not respond. Now the sodium. Levels range from 460 to 740 milligrams, nearly a quarter to half of a child's daily recommended limit. And versions found in some school lunch programs, those had even more sodium. Kids with high sodium intakes are about 40 percent more likely to develop hypertension than those with low sodium diets. Smithfield Foods said sodium is a key ingredient and helps meet customer demands for quality, authenticity, flavor and convenience. Kraft Heinz and Maple Leaf Foods said they're working to reduce sodium. So what's a busy parent to do? Look over that school lunch menu to find nutritious things your kids like or brown bag it with healthy foods from home. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.